Hello and welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs episode 8, I believe? No, 9. Number 9. Awesome. And today we are starting off with the Albatross by Professor Cat. But he has written his name as P-R-O-F underscore Cat. So, thank you for your awesome submission. It is actually quite interesting. I have tried it out. Yes, especially with these jet engines here. Let me show you guys what it does. I haven't changed anything with the design. I actually like it the way it is now. And up, 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 up. Oh, that was interesting. Yes, I like it the way it is now. I said it. Alright, that means we have to restart. How awesome. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so that's the only problem. The back wing shakes a little bit too much, but oh well. As you can see, he has included quite a few struts here and there. They are necessary. And wow, it's so bright today on Kerbin. It's like pure white down there. Yeah. Okay, let me turn off the brakes. Now let us... That doesn't help. Okay, that's just... up. Uh, mm. Alright, shut down the engine to equalize what just happened. Oh wait, we turned off the... Oh, great. We're doomed. Hey, it's actually flying. Huh. Huh. What? Awesome. Yay. <laughs> that was a terrible start. Terrible, terrible. So, um, first of all, we will show you the bombs on this design. And you may ask me, where are the bombs, Heretic? Let me show you. Yes. <laughs> it's actually quite interesting. Alright, let's just freaking lift up, not smash again. Yep. Try and shoot at those buildings. At least one of them. Okay. Oh, and let me show you the missiles. Oh, the bombs, really. Not really missiles, are they? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm terrible today. We lost the wing. No, we're fine. Okay, this, those were the bombs. Yes, quite surprisingly. I was actually laughing at it when I started flying it. And now we are missing a wing and we cannot lift up. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I actually enjoyed that design. Pretty cool. Anyway, next one. So, this design is by Zaphos? Zavophos? I don't know, it's a Greek name, I can tell, because I'm Greek myself, but. Zapophos? Is that it? Who knows? <laughs> Sorry for mispronouncing your name. I definitely mispronounced it. Zaphobos, I'm just looking at it. Anyway, this design is uh, Capsule J1. It's just a basic design, of course. A little bit different from what we usually have. We never have these radial air intakes. And an extra, two extra smoggy, ba smoggy bays. Oh, great. Yep, that was completely intended. <laughs> no! Whatever. <laughs> Let's test out its gliding skills. Oh, maybe we'll just try and land. Yeah, that will work. Alright, smog smoggy bays have been extended again. Uh, dip, 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 dip. Oh, yep, yeah, we'll make it, I think. Nope. Oh, great. Nope. Yes. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Whoa, dip, dip, dip. Yay, we made it. Whew, that was a good start. Alrighty, so the next design is Capsule J2. Alright, so this is Capsule J2. To I believe, and he has written descriptions about all the designs he submitted. So this is another one. Oh, great! Ah, uh, <laughs> restart! Yay! I was not intending to do that again. It's just the wheel placement. It's the wheel placement. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't place my smoggy bays <laughs> in that angle. Because of the very reason that they are too low to the ground right now. The whole thing is very low. Okay, this thing can lift up. Alright, lucky it didn't smash. Oh, it's a little bit shaky. I did test it out before. Uh, obviously, the reason is because of these things. I don't know what they're called. Some sort of winglet thingamajiggy. Anyway, let me describe to you what he has written. Uh, it is devised after a J-3 crashed. This single... What? Okay, okay, yep, there's very maneuverable rescue craft with one main capsule and rescue capsule, yep, for bare cinematic results. Ooh, ooh, I like that word cinematic, it's a good one. 
Uh, oh, okay, he's written something good. Don't go high enough to have only 0 0.00 intake air, otherwise it will lose all thrust and be um Yeah, well, we know that. <laughs> zero, 0 air intake is not good, and he's talking about the flow. Yes, once that goes to reaches zero, 00, obviously there won't be any thrust. Um, yeah, so what are we going to do with this design? Smash it? We'll try and land it, how's that? Um... I'll be back in a second. Okay, we have a problem. It did not l survive the whole trip. Yes. Uh, okay. Next design. So this design is uh, Capsule J3 and it does resemble the Ruloff design called the Poodle. Not the real life designer, it's a real life aircraft. It, it's actually been built. Yeah, the Poodle. It's like a miniature version of the Boeing 747 in my description. And this design is very smooth. Yes, it's, if you try and lift up and down, I mean it doesn't move up and down very easily, but it is fine. It does its job of carrying three Kerbals around here and there. Yeah, it, it works. I, I think d designs like this that are stable are pretty good. Very stable. And I think that's how the real designs in real life are. Just, just stable like this. Unless you're talking about a fighter jet or something like that because they need to maneuver very quickly to evade the missiles and bullets and what not. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we can try and land this thing. It's not a high altitude plane because it's using basic jet engines and uh, not many air intakes really but that's not that's okay that is okay not everything has to be high altitude flying all right so let's try why did I turn the brakes on what, what am I thinking let's try and land on top of this building <laughs> we won't do it not nah, no way no way so now we're gliding we will test its gliding skills out and so far if I manually put that down, turn SAS on. It looks like it's a good glider, actually. Yeah. As I was, I was saying, it, it it is actually stable. Yeah. Pretty good. Although you can't lift up now, can you? I cannot lift up. But once I throttle up, the gimbal range on these jet engines will indeed help us out. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's working. Okay, oh, we're meant to land down there. Great, we're gonna land now. Uh, hmm, okay, let's land down here. Why not? Actually, that's too easy. Let's do a landing on the ocean. Whew. Alright, let's see how this goes. Here we go. Get the smoggy gi base out. Smoggy. <laughs> and land. Do your thing. Let's turn caps lock on. Actually, that's not even needed. Come on. Let's go on an angle like this so we can see where it's going. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Is it just me or is the wing on an angle? Wait. Okay, it's just me. <laughs> it is just me. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was a terrible landing. Terrible. Next design. Now, the rest of the designs that I'm going to show you are by John the Stupid Guy Trying to Be an Engineer. That is apparently his name. Very interesting name, indeed. Um, he submitted a whole bunch of designs. A total of eight or nine from memory. Yeah, and I've halved the design, so I'm using around about four for this episode, and then the next episode will be the rest. A lot of designs he submitted. It's like a gold mine can't resist you have to fly him more so this is a bomber from memory I did no oh, great why isn't it lifting up <gasps> I'm holding down s why isn't I lifting up what am I doing wrong here huh alright well, this is obviously doomed and I tested this out before and it was actually flying so the problem is with me alright what is the problem exactly um 
Let's see if we can actually get this flying. Huh, I don't know what I did. What did I do wrong? Usually when I see the ship, the aircraft shaking like that, I just turn off SAS because that's... N Is that what? What? Did you guys see that? It like went on an angle. Why did it go on an angle? That was weird. It... Unless the right side was in the air, who knows. So this is indeed heavy. It's very heavy. Oh, let's fly like this. Looks, this looks very cool. We never do it like this. Let's go check out the scenery. Check out the ocean. Any fish? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. we're so close. Oh, no. Restart. Oh, 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 oh. Yay, we're in the air. Finally. Okay, that was a terrible landing. Actually, it wasn't even a landing. That was a crash landing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just try and make it. Our goal here is to use these bombs and shoot them at the buildings down there. Well, yeah, if we can, of course. And I've done that many times and we are not very good at that at all. Yeah, let's throw it all up. Throw it all down, actually. Okay, throw it all back up. <laughs> this is a very heavy design. We need, we need to get rid of all these these damn bombs. They wait, they weigh this thing down by a little bit. These separatrons are, I think they used to be heavy. Yeah, they used to be heavy, but I think they are slightly lighter now, which is good. And this time, completely incorrect. Anyway, back to inside the capsule, and check it out. We are flying. Hello, sun. Whew, all right, all right, oh, not very stable, oh, no, 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 I can't do this, I'm terrible. All right, let's get nice and close, nice and close. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Load them up, load, load back, wait, what? Did they work? Yeah, I think I got the building. Yeah, we got some more, were those actual missiles? They were missiles, aren't they? Why were they going the opposite way? Wait, oh, yeah, they go the opposite way, how oh, interesting. <laughs> firing, firing from the butt. That's that doesn't usually happen when it comes to jets and rockets. <laughs> I don't think they do that. No, oh well, this is a very unique design. Yes, yes, it is. All right, let's go back. Oh wait, we're facing the wrong way. The butt should be pointing that way. Whatever. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go too fast. Ooh, we're gonna smash. Oh, you know what? It's okay. It's perfect. Fire from the butt at this angle. Fire! Fire! Alright, that was definitely not going to hit anything. There we go. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh, we have one more. One more butt, butt ammo left. <laughs> I think that's what we should call it. Let's go back down again. The butt ammo. Oh, what's smashed? Who knows. Um. Okay, so I just restarted because I somehow subconsciously turned off my recording software. And then I wasn't recording. How weird, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're gonna give another go for the butt ammo. That's what I call it. It's you know, it's meant to be a bomb, but it has has missile applications to it. Pretty weird. There we go. Butt ammo is not shooting anything. Okay, well that's terrible. Let's go crash. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, so next design. So this is the JNG missile tank, and you can guess what it does. It air it actually fires a missile. Well, yeah, missile. You can call it a missile or a cannon. Cannon missile, yeah, pretty much that's what it is. Look inside, nothing to see here. Yes. <laughs> As usual. Ooh, we're just gonna fire at this building and destroy it, hopefully. Now that doesn't actually happen. That feature has not been implemented into the game. Still waiting on that. That'll be pretty cool. I think that's a part of career mode when it comes out. Alright, so this cannon slash missile doesn't really shoot very far. As you can see, we didn't even hit the building. Okay, well that was a missile right there. It was a... We are a cannon ourselves. It does look like a cannon, does it? No. Looks nothing like a cannon. Why are we getting so slow now? We can barely move. I think we must have lost a wheel. What did we lose? Uh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a good design. Next one. Alrighty, so this is the JNG mm, 13 missile bomber thingamajiggy. 
Anyway, it has missiles underneath. Pretty interesting. Actually, he uses fuel to propel them instead of the separatrons. And so, you can actually power them like that. It gives you an extra burst. Press spacebar. And I cannot press. There we go. I had a little problem with the spacebar there. And they are gone. And the fuel has just ran out here. So these ones are now bombs. Well, that makes sense. When there's fuel, they are missiles. When there's no fuel, they are bombs. Awesome. Very, very interesting. Me likey. Anyway, uh, next design. <laughs> this is Kata Sun. So K A T A. K A T A dash S A N. Kata Sun. <laughs> interesting name. I like it. Very good. And this design has a lot of wings on it. Well, winglets. More like, and it is a bomber, doesn't have any missiles or anything I'll show you now. See? But he actually has Xeon containers as part of the bombs, very interesting. Yes. Anyway, we are in the air. This is quite easy to actually fly. Let me turn, throttle down a little bit. That way we can get nice and low near those buildings. Alrighty. So let's prepare to smash or shoot at this building now. Oh, oh, that's a fail. That's a failure. All right, we're gonna restart that. Okay, here we go for round two. And once we get close enough, which is now, up, up, up. Oh, we missed again. Damn it! All right, restart. Ooh, ooh, doop, doop. Ah. Alrighty, so this is round three. And round two was very bad the way I did it. I wasn't really pointing directly at the building, but now bang and there we go, got the building finally. And it did nothing to the building. Oh, did we smash something? How did that happen? What? We're gonna have to check the footage. That is not good. Alright, well we have a couple wings missing. Just a couple. <laughs> it's a little bit heavy on one side this design. Let's just throttle, fully throttle up and turn this thing into a missile. A Kerbal controlled missile, yes. I wouldn't trust Kerbals with a missile. Never trust them. Oh, there we go, awesome. Anyway guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. And yay. <laughs> okay, and see you next time. Oh yeah, and as well as that, I'd like to thank the subscribers who submitted their designs. And those people are... Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Professor Cat, is that false? I pronounced the name correctly. And John, the stupid guy, John, oh, trying to be an engineer. Okay, see you again.